Hello and welcome to yet another important topic for the day and that is group discussion. We all know that every eligibility criteria necessarily needs to meet group discussion as one of the important criteria for all interview processes. Group discussion actually uh, makes fear in the mind of job aspirant. Just because they are not prepared, they are underprepared or they have an apprehension of not speaking in group discussion. So let us clarify once and all and minimize the fear factor which seeps in group discussion. We all know that for it's a very very important activity in academic business and administrative sphere. Why? Let's take a deep dive and understand. Group discussion as the name suggests it means group a group of 8 to 10 or 12 it's purely subjective to what the panel dis- decides upon but it's basically to do with a group and they are made to sit in a circular or semi circular manner where they are given a topic and they are asked to exchange their ideas so group discussion is nothing but exchange of ideas thoughts and feelings that can possibly Uh, take place in a structured environment so how does it differ from debate is group discussion essentially has an inference to be drawn but debates are inconclusive in nature so debates happen between two people one who speaks for and one who speaks against but group discussion is a a discussion which is taking place in a unidirection and it has to be an elaborative and exhaustive form of a topic and that's the reason it has to meet certain inferences or conclusion an important activity in academic business and administrative sphere so it is very important tool to assess communication not only in college level but also when you are working in a corporate setup where you need to communicate where you need to brainstorm where you need to strategize where you need to listen to others and form certain consensus which are purely based on business modules typically run in a organization it is important for all of us to understand that communication has a very vital and integral part to play a role in all our career and hence group discussion becomes very very important not only to communicate but also to understand what others perspective is so it's basically when group has to sit together to decide something then everybody needs to contribute a group discussion typically is a group activity and hence the nuances to learn it at an early stage so that we shape up we understand now the objective of selection in a group discussion is uh, basically a team so everyone needs to participate and have a clear goal set of playing skills rather than getting it in individually driven so there are essentially five parameters of group discussion one is the topic knowledge the topic is given so essentially you should be aware of the topic if you are well read if you have discussed it somewhere if you have come across listen to i think that's the subject uh, knowledge that we are talking about and if we have a subject knowledge the second thing comes up as orally expressing it communication skills the third parameter would be leadership skills the fourth will be team management how the group behaves and the fourth and the fifth one and the final one would be forming conclusion so let's try and understand each and every parameters of group description group discussion would have essentially topic knowledge what if you are aware of the topic knowledge what if you are not aware of the topic knowledge and what if you are aware and you are not able to speak it up so let's take each case as it is if you are aware of a group uh, topic or a topic knowledge then i think you need not to express all your points just think of three major points that you can possibly phrase and explain it to the group exhaustively so not 5 10 points i'm stating i'm telling you the tricks and it has to be only first three points and every time whenever you open your mouth you should be speaking one point at a time you should not be preempting all the three points just because you are aware of the topic knowledge just because you are able to express it no hold it up 
one point at a time will make lot of difference i'll tell you how it is this is the case when you are aware of the topic what if you are not aware of the topic then you should wait for first two or three people to let them speak and understand what they speak if you are able to bring about some relevance some points out of the spoken first three spoken member of the team then i think you should bring about examples of of the same for example let's say uh, if you are not aware of the pandemic wave 2 then you should be waiting for the first three to speak and then take a leaf out of it let's say if people say that learning from the wave 1 sanitization mask and social distancing are holds the holds uh, the key still in the second wave if you are able to just bring about an example of any of the three thing that have been spoken by the first three speakers i think you can give an example like uh, yes the second wave uh, is a little lethal wave because first wave we could not see we only heard about people suffering from it but second wave uh, got us witness in the neighborhood people suffering from the second wave and that's w- what made it little fearful so bring about a relevance bring about an example i i think one example that you can set from whatever has been spoken by the first two or three speakers would set the ball rolling and you would be still uh, counted in the group discussion as an active member what if people uh, know about the topic knowledge but they still fear to speak out for them i would only drop a hint that speak simple sentences and at least rephrase your sentence by uh, affirmations positive affirmations of whatever your thought process is let's say if sanitization has uh, you know uh, made you not to fall ill for many a reason and there were less a number of patients seen in the doctors chambers it's only because of the hand wash so stress that point that i strongly believe that hand wash and san- proper usage of sanitizer alone has stopped many a diseases so i think corona would also be second wave of corona would also be kind of a prophylactic or a proactive or a preventive measures can be taken as we have done it in the wave 1 let us do it and observe it in the wave 2 so maybe if people are not aware of of uh, if they are aware of the topic and they are not able to express bring it in your simple phrasing of sentences rather making it a complex one so subject knowledge for all the three conditions what comes second is if you are able to express always try and express not in a very difficult language always choose a simple language a very uh, simple phrasing that can bring about your point relevant point to uh, you know across your team first of all most important to oral expression is listen if you are not able to listen properly you will uh, definitely a uh, fizzle away with lot of you know good points so the first thing first is a leader also listens so the first sign of leadership is if you are able to listen to others what they are speaking as you are trying to make your point and make want other to to listen to you it's it's other way also that you need to listen to others while they are making their point so good communication uh, always starts with active listening so listening plays a important role try and listen to what people say and bring out about relevance to the core point of discussion and the topic knowledge clarity of thought and expressions are most important so whatever you speak i think you should be very clear speak less but speak effective that is the point of clarity of thought and expression and what comes next to clarity of thought is the app language never use a unfamiliar phrase or a decorative language or a flowery language always be precise be polite be courteous and well mannered so that everyone accepts your point as you are able to accept theirs always take in help of non verbal clues as you speak your body language should be coherent it should be in congruence to what you speak and there should be a proper eye contact to the gesture to the posture that you make and the facial expressions always a smile Uh, becomes a contagious aspect of others to become receptive to your communication as well so 
align your thought with your verbal and non verbal cues the next thing is other than oral expression that we have seen the four things that we have seen let us uh, think about the team behavior now the team behavior is is very very important you would see that there are good number of people all are very different someone would be initiating so he becomes a leader someone will be an information seeker who wanted to have more insight towards a topic someone would be a great giver information giver someone would be a procedure facilitator he would always say that we have we are left we are halfway mark we are left with 1 minute let's not divulge this topic to any other subject let's come back to on track to the topic on the topic and speak relevance so a procedure facilitator would be there will be an observer there will be an opinion seeker would always seek an opinion from the group or maybe from the people who have not spoken someone would be a giver to someone would be a clarifier if the group at large is unable to understand then there comes a role of the clarifier who clarifies things and put things into perspective few are summarizer they will always be able to summarize with one or two points so that the entire discussion is well understood there will be a social supporter also not only within the group that he uh, will make he or she will make the others to understand that there is a we are sitting with a purpose so let's take that cause into into uh, consideration and let's socially be inclined to it towards the topic someone would be a great social supporter and always try to bring that social angle or element into the discussion someone will be a tension reliever bringing the jokes or the uh, the humor part of it someone would be a compromiser who will try to compromise make a compromise between let's say two extreme people of different opinion someone would, would be al- always an arnab goswami an attacker someone would be a humorist and someone would be a dominator so there would be people of different personality traits participating in the same group maybe a homogeneous group so to say to participate in a group discussion but it becomes an heterogeneous in nature because there are different personalities participating into it so that's a typical team behavior that you would like to witness in a group and let it be dynamic be ever ever so now the most important aspect of uh, a group discussion as leadership we all know that a leader is the one who initiates the leader is the one who actually listens to the leader is the one who brings about the creative aspect into that particular topic the leader is the one who again restart when the discussion comes to a lull a leader is the one who gives the not spoken people who have not participated yet them a chance to open up and speak something and leader is the one who actually sees that the group goes in a uniform direction the leader is the one who tries and sums up things for the uh, for the entire group the leader is the one who gives the correct idea and one keyword so that the discussion goes in the right direction so more than 5 to 7 times there can be an uh, leader emerging within that group so there is always a scope for one or the other to emerge as a leader and that's the reason leadership skills can be witnessed more than 5 times within the same discussion within the same group that is one good aspect and uh, the last thing is of course when there is a conclusion to be made keep in mind that conclusion is not sentences it is just one sentence that you need to sum up for the entire so entire group so take into a consideration of people maybe not forming homogeneous thought and still there would be existing uh, you know two thoughts in the same group or two opinion in the same group take the other group also into consideration and form one good positive constructive productive Uh, concluding statement which has to be a very succinct very very crisp statement coming as a concluding statement so that has to come from from it can come from anybody need not be the starter of the discussion or uh, may not be the one who is driving the entire discussion to a positive point maybe anybody who can make a point and conclude it rationally 
so to conclude a group discussion is basically is to generate a few ideas also support and uh, you know form a growth for an uh, for an all the group members to take it into a constructive direction and maybe conclude it right so uh, there can be different roles of a, of of an individual in a group discussion which we have already seen but i would like to bring to your notice is that uh, what the team or the panel thinks about uh, in a in a typical group discussion is that the panel looks at team player basically proper reasoning of the arguments that are shaping up leadership every now and then so there are there would be more than five incidences where the leadership can be emerged throughout the discussion of course there is always a room for flexibility of thoughts and opinions either side when you are opining or others are doing it let it be flexible let there be a lot of assertiveness of positiveness in terms of thoughts flowing and uh, thoughts being exhibited in terms of behavior as well initiatives can be taken when the groups uh, when the group is not speaking when the group has started speaking when the group gets repetitive when the group lacks creativity i think there can be n number of time when the initiative is taken where there is also leadership exhibited creativity is something that can be that can come out any point of time when the group discussion is happening ever ever so welcome inspiring ability again the sign of great leadership where he is or she is able to der- you know drive the entire discussion to a very constructive or productive front listening forms the basic of communication so it has to be heard whoever is is uh, you know opining or uh, making a point i think listening should prevail all the time and the bottom line of group discussion is awareness if the people are aware if they are taking it to a level 2 then i think it's for the rest who are not unaware of the topic to stay quiet and maybe participate only to the optimum level of theirs which makes the entire group proper to level 2 and they are on the same page so a group discussion phases will be it starts it gets initiated and it lies in the centrally in the group for everyone to discuss and of course there is a conclusion to be formed so uh, essentially to summarize what group discussion is speak whenever you are uh, you, when you get an opportunity speak speak freely do not monopolize it never ever jump for anybody let everyone get an equal opportunity to speak maintain eye contact always have an active listening practice do not interrupt anyone keep the topic on track never divulge it do not make it irrelevant encourage someone who is silent to talk every now and then do not argue or debate because they are very different from group discussion do not get repetitive clarify your doubts when needed be very brief and try and try to speak simpler sentences instead of speaking jargons or maybe uh, uh difficult languages or phrases right some of the topics that i would like to lay down for you all which will help you to jot down or ponder about and make three different points and keep ready for the final group discussion whenever you come across i think that i am laying it down for you all around 25 topics for your benefit and i think this should make a lot of sense to you so the entire idea of discussing group discussion as a topic today is to minimize the fear that it takes place in your mind and be ready always always remember a uh, some kind of a homework that you do acts as a preventive measure or maybe a proactive measure and finally when it comes to the d day when you are sitting across and trying to qualify this group discussion keep these things in mind it will go a long long way and remember when you are discussing you are a team you are never an individual so prepare well prepare best best wishes to all thank you